with an FC TV with Chris Agata followed today's defeat in the FA Cup to Morecambe. Aggie, your thoughts on that one? Oh, I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. Um, I think a lot of managers probably will talk about being really proud, um, and obviously we are. But I'm not going to let that get in the way of the fact that I feel like we should have won today. I feel like we should at least be play still playing now because we're in extra time. Created a, created a lot more chances today than what we did on Tuesday against Bath. And, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit of a smash and grab, I think. Uh, thinking about it now, um, obviously, you know, you're, you're proud of the way that we went about it and the type of football that we played and how effective it was and how aggressive we were. And I think we're a very good watch again. Um, created some unbelievable chances which is great just both boxes that's what it comes down to two set piece goals which is frustrating um, yeah mixed feelings frustrations aside I know obviously that is the main takeaway for you today because you you want to, you want your players to be taking the chances that you created but I mean if you're a neutral watching that you, and, and, or, or someone that doesn't know which league the two sides are in you probably think it would be the other way around the, the way that, that game went yeah I, I mean it was but, but we fancied it before the game we looked at it and, you know from a staff perspective we thought we had a chance so we watched five or six games and just, I just thought that we could cause them a lot of problems and, if we play with that intensity and aggression, as I said, front foot type of football, which we're capable of, but I thought we're causing problems, and it proved to be the case. Um, so yeah, we're not we're not surprised by that. Um, it just it's more for the players as well. We've got complete belief in the players, rightly so. As I said, we've won a lot of games already this year. Leaves coming into today, and we can win the game. And so, and the main thing is really the players need to come away from that game going inside because we are we're a very good side. It's just frustrating. It's the worst thing in the world when you come up after the game and everyone says, "Cor, deserve to win that." Miles better than Morecambe. Their staff are saying, "What a team!" Miles better than us. Deserve to win. You're like. Pounds of frustration. Really. Yeah, I guess in, in that sense, it's talking all over again, isn't it? Right. With such a good performance not warranting the well, result that you got. Well, we've won six out of the last eight, and the two games that we've lost are probably the two games where we played best. It's just. Uh, it's football, it? Some of the football you played at times as well. They're, they're, created so many good chances with, with such good moves playing out the back there's a moment you mentioned off camera that you particularly liked yeah. you must be pleased to see them producing that against a team from a high level yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's, the thing is it obviously it draws a lot of um, plaudits because it's aesthetically pleasing but again it, it comes off the back of it from our perspective we believe it's the best way to win like, we b believe it's you know, when it's done effectively with a purpose and with the right intensity, we think that's the best way to win games. And touch wood, you know, as I said, we, we've done that. Um, so it, it's great for the neutral, great for our home support when you're seeing us produce that type of football. Um, my, my big thing is, and the staff's big thing is, it's effective football and it's led to some unbelievable chances today, which I'm gutted we haven't, we haven't taken. Just a couple of notable performances. I'm trying to pick out one or two. I'd probably go with Sam Beard and Nicky Wheeler today. They're two fantastic performances. But on the whole, the, the whole side probably deserve a mention for the for the effort they put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was a it was a collective effort. And uh, yeah, I, I thought Nicky was M O M today. I thought he was excellent. Uh, I think Nicky's back to back to full fitness. I think that's shown. Yeah, I think across the board we were very, very, very good. I mean, if Joe Cook scores that goal in the first half, that's goal of the season it was an unbelievable bit of play. Um, so yeah, just, uh, we are really proud of the group. Um, but again, we're not going to let that pride get in the way of some of the disappointment because we want to win football matches. Like, I've heard a few people sort of say, God, this is your cup final. I'm like, no, not at all. 
at all. This this is this is a big game, but there's a lot more big games to come. Um, so uh, this isn't going to define our season, that's for sure. Um, so pleased with the performance, but frustrated that we haven't uh, won the game, which I think we could have done. I guess in the long run as well, the, the, the aspirations were never to get particularly far in this competition. Your main target this season, as we all know, is, is to win to win the division and to, or to get promoted from the division. So, yeah, just, I guess, a reflection to on, on the season, really. Uh, well, if you'd said to me, and this might be down pop, if you said to me that we would lose at Bath and win today, or win at Bath and lose today, I'd have rather won. That's my attitude. Um, I want to win both games, of course. <laughs> if I had to choose, that for me is a better week than the alternative. Um, I just think, for, from our perspective, if we can do that to a League Two team, we've got no excuses. Like, no excuses at all. Um, and we, when we play with that intensity and that fire and so that aggression and that physicality as well, like obviously Werbin, they won't use the, the way that we play as. in touch and distance of top spot has been our aggression has been our physicality has been how good we've been around first and second ball and doing the ugly stuff in our intensity is what's been the one 10 out of the last 15 I think, 6 out of the last 8 that, that's, that's the most important thing and if we can continue to produce that you've got to be a hell of a team to beat us um, and I, I'll go back to what I said after the talky game up I think if we play that game today as against Torquay, we play that game ten times. I think we win it six or seven. Just unfortunate to fall on the wrong side of it. But um, the oh, this is a bit ruthless. The challenge for us is to make sure that's a league game. Which, um, obviously, Morecambe have got to play their part in that. But, but from our perspective, um, that should only incentivise the group to go. We, we can do something here. But what, what we what we won't be doing, and I've seen it where. Because the players will probably show me a lot of love, they'll get a lot of plaudits, a lot of well done's, and maybe stuff on social media and stuff like that. You guys will do a great job. <laughs> but what won't happen, and I've seen it happen before, where we then take a while and before you know it, you then get your, your bread and butter stuff. seen us to where we are in the league and the playoffs and the results today so I think the results have been pretty favourable today I think on Tuesday night to a lot of top potentially and that one points yeah. yeah so um, that's that's what we're aiming for and just a quick word on the home support this afternoon yeah. no, more than 3,000 in here and it was bouncing brilliant. really wasn't it brilliant brilliant love it absolutely love it it's what you do it makes you feel alive do you know what I mean so like for, from a staffing perspective, brilliant, loved it, kicked every ball with us, um, battered every single bad decision from the match officials, so they were busy today. By the way, <laughs> I by wasn't going to ask. By the way, <laughs> I've seen that so many times, but like the lower league team just get absolutely nothing. Anyway, but yeah, no, the supporters were, were brilliant. Um, and then from the players' perspective, like um, we, we said to them, pretty much get the supporters excited, get the supporters behind you, you know, yeah. keep them interested. And um, I think the way that we went about it, certainly done that. I'm just gutted we could at least give them a goal. But those, those supporters today, our supporters, I think deserve to see a, a Worthing team win that game um, because they were brilliant. And uh, obviously, we're disappointed about that, and frustrated, and. Uh, yeah, we'll do our best to bounce back and I just hope we've done enough in terms of the way that we go about it to get more of those supporters back through the gate on Tuesday night um, 
Saturday. I know the hardcore will be there and they're amazing. Right? Down that bottom end there. Brilliant. Um, loved it. And then obviously the new stand being opened as well, fully opened. It was, it was, it was a great atmosphere. I just hope that, like I said, that our performance is done enough to get the neutral fan back, get the more casual fan back, to help us on the journey ahead. Really.